Imagine you're in a crowded amusement park with your family, or you're on opposite ends of a large home improvement store. Instead of typing out a text message or waiting for a phone call to connect, you simply tap a button on your wrist and say, Hey, where are you? and instantly hear a voice response. This is the magic of the walkie-talkie app on Apple Watch, one of the most fun and uniquely watch-like features Apple has created. But if you've ever tried to use it, you've probably run into the same frustrations as everyone else, contacts showing as unavailable, invitations that never seem to go through, or that infuriating double quotes connecting dot 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 double quotes message that never actually connects. The setup process is not intuitive, and the app doesn't do a great job of explaining why it fails. This guide will demystify the entire walkie-talkie experience. We're going to walk through the exact step-by-step -step process to invite someone and have them successfully accept, explain the technology behind the app that causes those connection issues, and provide a clear troubleshooting path for the most common problems. By the end of this, you'll be able to set up instant push-to-talk communication with your friends and family, turning your Apple Watch into a powerful communication tool for moments when a phone call is too much and a text message is too slow. The first and most critical step to using walkie-talkie is understanding that it is not a traditional radio walkie-talkie. It doesn't use radio frequencies. Instead, it's a clever, simplified interface built on top of FaceTime audio. This is why both you and your contact need specific devices and software. You both need an Apple Watch Series 1 or later with WatchOS 5.4 or newer, and you both need to be signed into iCloud with your Apple IDIS. This is the foundational requirement that often gets missed. To get started, open the walkie-talkie app on your Apple Watch. It looks like a yellow walkie-talkie icon. When you open it for the first time, you'll likely see a message prompting you to invite a friend. Tap that. You'll then see a list of your contacts. This list is populated from your iPhone's contacts, but it will only show people who meet the device and software requirements. If you don't see the person you're looking for, it means their device isn't compatible, they're not signed into iCloud properly, or they're under 18, as there are age restrictions for the feature. Once you find your contact, tap their name to send an invitation. This is where the first point of failure often occurs. The invitation is not like a simple text message. It's a system-level invitation that gets sent to their walkie-talkie app on their Apple Watch. They must open their own walkie-talkie app to see the invitation and tap Accept. Until they do this, they will forever show as unavailable in your app. This is the single most important step in the entire process. The recipient must actively accept the invitation within the walkie-talkie app on their wrist. You can't force it from your end. Once they accept, You'll see their status change from unavailable to available. Now that you're connected, how do you actually talk? The interface is designed for simplicity. In the walkie-talkie app, you'll see your friend's name. If they are available, you can start a conversation at any time. To talk, press and hold the large yellow talk button. While you're holding it down, you can speak into your watch. You'll see connecting dot 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 double quotes briefly, and then you'll hear a distinct chirp sound. That chirp is your signal to start talking. Release the button when you're done speaking. Your voice message will then be transmitted to your friend's watch. On their end, their watch will make a distinct incoming walkie-talkie sound, which is different from a regular notification, and then play your message aloud, even if their watch is in silent mode. They can then press and hold their own talk button to respond. This creates a seamless back and forth conversation. A crucial pro tip for usability is managing your availability. You might not want to be available for walkie-talkie messages 20 for 7 To turn off your availability, open the walkie-talkie app and toggle the switch at the top of the screen from green available to gray unavailable. When you're unavailable, no one can contact you via walkie-talkie, and you'll appear as unavailable in their contacts list. This is perfect for meetings, important events, or just when you need some quiet time. 
You can also force close a live walkie-talkie connection by tapping the X that appears on the screen during a connection. This is useful if you're getting interference or the connection is poor. Despite a successful setup, you will inevitably encounter connection issues. The connecting dot 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 double quotes message that never resolves is the most common problem. Since walkie-talkie relies on a stable internet connection, the first thing to check is the connectivity of both watches. If both you and your contact are on Wi-Fi or cellular with strong signals, it should work. However, if one of you is only connected to your iPhone via Bluetooth, the connection can be less reliable. The most powerful troubleshooting step is a simple restart of the walkie-talkie app on both watches. To do this, open the walkie-talkie app and firmly press on the screen. This will bring up a hidden menu. Tap Disconnect All. This will sever all current walkie-talkie connections. Then, have your contact do the same on their watch. After a moment, you can both reopen the app and toggle your availability back on. This often clears up any temporary software glitches. If that doesn't work, try restarting both Apple Watches. If you're still having issues, check for software updates on both watches, as Apple frequently releases bug fixes for connectivity features. Another common issue is related to focus modes. If you or your contact has a focus mode active like Do Not Disturb, Sleep, or a custom focus, it can block walkie-talkie notifications. The sender might see the contact as available, but the recipient will never get the audio message because their focus mode is silencing it. Ensure that both parties have allowed walkie-talkie notifications in their focus settings. To check this on your iPhone, go to Settings Greater Than Focus, select your active focus, tap Apps, and ensure walkie-talkie is allowed. The walkie-talkie app is a fantastic way to stay connected with your closest contacts in a quick, informal way. It's perfect for coordinating within a large store, checking in with a spouse at home while you're in the yard, or keeping in touch with kids who have their own Apple Watches. By understanding the invitation process, mastering the push-to-talk interface, and knowing how to troubleshoot the common connection problems, you can unlock a fun and incredibly useful communication channel that truly leverages the unique, always-on-your-wrist nature of the Apple Watch. By understanding the invitation process, mastering the push-to-talk interface, and knowing how to troubleshoot the common connection problems, you can unlock a fun and incredibly useful communication channel that truly leverages the unique, always-on-your-wrist nature of the Apple Watch. By understanding the invitation process, mastering the push-to-talk interface, and knowing how to troubleshoot the common connection problems, you can unlock a fun and incredibly useful communication channel that truly leverages the unique, always-on-your-wrist nature of the Apple Watch.